Hello, I'm Robert Grant, and welcome to LearnMyShot.com. Today we're going to show you how to set up a custom white balance using your digital SLR camera. So let's get to the set and begin. So here's our set. A clamp light with a 150 watt bulb in it, going through some tissue paper hung over the set, and our subject matter is some caviar on hard boiled eggs. So let's go over the camera settings. We're using a 17 to 85 millimeter zoom lens at 56 millimeters. We're setting the camera on AV for aperture value where we set the f-stop at f13 and the camera will automatically select a shutter speed. I set this up earlier and the image is finished. The only problem is, is the color is very yellow. So what we want to do now is adjust our custom white balance. First we need to push the white balance button to bring up the screen so we can select the custom white balance mode. Your camera may be slightly different, so check your instruction manual. Now we've got the white balance mode selected, so let's move on. The next step is to shoot a white card. So I've got a white card here in a little stand. You need to have the card in focus, but it's so close to our still life, that's good. And your camera set on uh, manual focus. You need to simply shoot a frame and it records that white card as, a, as an image. Um, if you want to be a little more professional, there's a, something called an 18% gray card. It's obviously not white, it's gray, and that's available at your camera store. Next, we need to turn the dial in the menu and select Custom White Balance. Then push the Set button. So the last thing we need to do now is to select the image and import the data. So on the back of your camera, bring the image up. Once you have the image of your white card, push set and all the data will be transformed and you'll have your brand new white balance. So here you can see the colors cleaned up really nicely and even got more saturated. So if you're having trouble with color balance, this is a really great way to fix it. You can also use this technique when you have mixed lighting situations as well. Well, we hope you enjoy this tutorial on creating a custom white balance and that it helps your photography become even better. And look for us again at LearnMyShot.com.